Hello, welcome back to my channel and today's very exciting Suzanne Hall. A lookbook full to the brim of Parisian style outfit ideas and inspiration with my pick of the best pieces from summer 2021. If you're regular to my channel, welcome back. Thank you so much for popping in. And if you're new here, hello, thank you so much for finding me. If you all like this video, which I really hope you do, I'd be very grateful for any spare thumbs up you've got going. And if you're not already subscribed, that would be really lovely too. Don't forget, I love hearing from you all, so do let me know as we go along your favorite outfit ideas that I share with you today. Okay, I've got so much to show you, so let's get straight to it with item number one. First up in this Suzanne haul to this beautiful 100% organic cotton khaki dress. I love this dress. So much so, I can already imagine I'm gonna be wearing it on repeat for the rest of summer. I think it's beautiful. I feel elegant in it. It feels stylish and chic. It's got a tiny hint of bohemian spirit to it, which is lovely for summer. And on top of all of that, it's really, really comfy. I mean, it's quite a wide shape. As you can see, you've got quite a lot of room here, both in the sleeve and across the chest. And obviously I have cinched it in with a belt, which I should tell you about in a moment. But the general vibe of the dress when you're not wearing the belt is essentially a shirt dress with a nice wide shape, which I like. So as you can see, I've paired it with tan details, both with my belt and my lovely bucket bag. And on my feet, I've gone for gold sandals. I love that tone personally, both against tan and khaki. So I think it works really nicely. As you can see, I have had to embrace my very sticky out ears and get my hair up out the way because I filmed all of these outfits first and boiled alive with my hair down. It's just too hot today. So sorry about this in advance. They're quite sticky out, I know. Anyway, now I've pointed out my sticky out ears, you're not gonna be able to look anywhere else. Shall we divert onto another lovely piece on my bell? I think we should. So next up to one beautiful floral blouse. Now, if you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm not usually one for print at all. So you know I think it's a pretty special one if I decide to add it into my wardrobe. I just think that print is really pretty and delicate. And although it is a print, I thought it was really subtle with those muted tones. It doesn't feel too bright for me. So really a perfect way for me to introduce a little bit of floral, which of course is one of the big fashion trends this season, into my own capsule wardrobe, with it still very much feeling like my own personal style. So really, really happy with this one. Now you might have seen it over on my Instagram account, which I shall include a link for in the description box below if you'd like to follow me on there too. But on there, I photographed this with a pair of chinos, which I got from Cos. And I love the two of those together as an outfit. But another new combo that I've just discovered that I really, really like is pairing this lovely delicate blouse with my Manu trousers. So these are the Manu trousers, which I absolutely love. I think they've just got the perfect shape for spring summer, quite loose and relaxed and very low key, but they feel elevated at the same time. In fact, they're actually a very similar shape to the chinos that I was waffling about, uh, which is probably why I like them styled with this. So I started with a pair of tan leather sandals that I just got in and my numero un nano from Plum Paris. A late addition to this video, but after waffling how much I love the trousers in camel, I went and treated myself to them too. And they've just arrived, so I thought I'd give you all a quick look. I do believe when you find the perfect fit of trousers and they're within budget, it's worth getting them in another colorway. So I've styled them here, as you can see, with my lovely flat sandals again, a simple vest top and a canvas beach bag that I often use as a tote. I'm very happy with these trousers. I think I'm gonna get lots of use out of them. Now the first problem I've had is that I love everything so much I've whipped all the labels off, which is not good for the bank balance. Second problem I've got is I need to pack soon for our holiday to Rhodes, which I'm really, really hoping goes ahead. And I want to take everything with me, which is not good when you want to try and squeeze it all into a carry-on suitcase. Maybe I should film that experience and see how many pieces can you squeeze into one quite small carry-on, possibly coming soon. So next up in this Cezanne lookbook for summer 2021, I went for this very cute bow top. Now this has been made from a blend of organic cotton. I'm not 100% sure, but I think there must be some sort of lycra in there because it's got quite a stretchy feel to it, which is good. You've got little cap sleeves fitted across the waist and the tummy and this really pretty shape across the chest. 
it arrived like that. I don't know if you see that. And I kind of thought, well, what are you supposed to do with that? It looks weird with those pointy things hanging down. I thought they'd sent me the wrong piece. They haven't because, of course, all you do is tie that in a bow across the chest. And it makes quite a sweetheart neckline, which I'm very fond of. I find that really flattering. So in the pictures on the website, the model is wearing the sleeves quite far down the arm, so almost off the shoulder, which looks nice on her, but did look a bit silly on me. So I much prefer to wear those up. I think I would feel much more comfortable like that and probably more practical because I'd be conscious it was just going to slip down completely. So as you can see, I'm starting it with a pair of navy trousers that I got fairly recently from cos on my feet i'm wearing my everlane day flats but i would also wear this with sandals i think that would look really nice too and then polishing off the whole outfit and feeling even more parisian vibe i've added my numero un classic handbag from palen in all honesty i think a top like this will become quite a staple for me because not only will i wear it with both of those pairs of trousers i've got on the rail and of course all my jeans as well i think that would look really nice together Next up in this Cezanne haul to a piece that is very much a classic on Cezanne's website. It gets restocked time and time again, probably because of its popularity, is this beautiful silk blouse. So as you can see, it's got this very pretty open work embroidery detail all the way around the collar and down the front panel here. And then you've also got that on the sleeve edges as well. The sleeves are a really nice shape as well. You've got very tiny little gathers at the shoulder there and then that lovely wide shape, which just feels so nice in the heat. Again, talking of wide shape, the width is actually really nice. It's quite square, so you don't feel too Sticky. not that you would anyway because it's silk, but it's not clinging anywhere, which I much prefer throughout spring, summer and autumn, winter really. I don't like things to cling at any point. Now, although I would absolutely wear this very dressed down with a pair of jeans or maybe my chinos and sandals, um, underneath that denim jacket, I think it would look really cool. I wanted to show you a pretty dressed up, possibly workwear look with this blouse, just to give you a different bit of inspiration. So I've paired it with one beautiful maxi skirt that I got recently, and my strappy mid-heel sandals on my feet. Although that looked nice together on its own, I thought it would be quite nice to have the addition of the belt as well to really define my waist a bit more, so I added the tan leather belt in between. So then I finished off with my bucket bag again, as I quite like those very similar tones of tan blending together. So yes, one beautiful blouse that no doubt will become quite a classic in my capsule wardrobe. So the next item I bought is very similar to the wool jacket, which I have here in a dark indigo, and I also have it in the blush as well. I wear these a lot, as you've probably seen on my channel. So I love the shape, I love the quality of these, but when I spotted this other version, I just couldn't help myself. I just fell in love with this blue shade and I couldn't resist. Now this is a slightly different shape to the wheel jacket. I would say this one is a bit more boxy, perhaps a little bit more casual. So I love the shape, but what really stole my heart was this slightly vintage shade of blue. I just love that, especially for summer. Now I don't think I would ever do a summer season without a denim jacket in my capsule wardrobe. Aside from trench coats, they're probably my outerwear of choice. And of course we don't live in the Bahamas, sadly, so we often feel the need for a summer coat. Now styling wise, I would put this Cezanne denim jacket with just about everything on my rail. I don't think you'll ever find it hard to mix and match a denim jacket into your outfit ideas. So I tried to do something a little bit different with the outfit idea for this piece. And I paired it with a lovely blue dress that I got from And Other Stories. Obviously, it's quite a tonal look with the blue on blue. I do really love that. But to give it a bit of a twist, I dressed it down with my high top converse on my feet and then elevated it all back up again with my Numero D handbag. So a bit of a mishmash in terms of high-low pieces that I think when you see it as a whole, it really works nicely together. Well, I think so anyway. Okay, let's move on, move on, because I've got so many to show you. Actually, I'm going to show you my belt, which I'm very, very happy with. Again, you might have already had a sneak peek of this over on Instagram, as I've been styling it into a few different outfit ideas. And one thing, actually, really annoyingly, just before I turned this camera on, I went and washed my hands, and some water splashed onto it here, and it's got a watermark 
Um, if anyone knows of any good ways to get that out, please do let me know in the comments section. So as you can see, this is a tan leather belt and you've got a really nice and very fine stitching detail where there's four rows of, I think that's camel stitching detail around the edges. That's a really nice touch, actually makes it feel a bit more different. I love how the buckle is quite big here, makes a nice statement at the front. And with a bit of a sharp, it goes through the belt hooks of every pair of trousers I've tried it with so far, which is quite a few. There was definitely a gap in my capsule wardrobe for a nice new belt so I was on the hunt for one as you know from a couple of months ago and I think this one really ticks all the boxes for me I'm really really happy with it Now if there's one piece aside from a Breton top that gives you a bit of a Parisian vibe very very easily it would be these sorts of short sleeve tops now obviously I fell in love with the color I just adore coffee tone in my capsule wardrobe but on top of that, it's actually been made from a really sustainable fabric called Ecovero. Now that fabric is actually made from the pulp of wood and the wood is sustainably sourced as well. So a really nice option on fabric that I hope to see more of on our high street soon. So as you can see, it's got a square neck and those lovely scalloped edges around it. Uh, they do that detail on the sleeves and also on the hem as well. I went for this in a small and I could probably do with a bit of a darker bra underneath because as it's stretching across my chest, you can very slightly see my flesh colored bra. Sorry, struggling with that sentence. Um, so I could probably do with something a bit darker. I could have possibly sized up in this so I had a bit more room and it wasn't stretching, but I think you would almost lose that Parisian vibe element to it if you went too baggy. So I kind of think it needs to be tighter, I just probably need a different colour bra. That was a very long-winded way of saying, put a darker bra on Jessica. So I've paired it with my high-waisted dark indigo skinny jeans that I got from Everlane. On my feet, I am wearing a pair of heels that actually came from Suzanne last summer. However, they were so popular, they've brought out a new version for this summer, which is almost the same, so I shall link that in the description box below. So another lovely top that, judging from my rail, I shouldn't need to buy any more tops for the rest of this season. You can hold me to that. <laughs> now I've got another item of clothing to show you, but before I move on to that, I just want to quickly show you an accessory I bought because I do think Suzanne's jewelry section definitely deserves a mention. There's some really beautiful pieces on there. So I went for this pretty chunky gold necklace, which I absolutely love. I've wanted something like this for a while and I must admit I'd looked on Net-A-Porter and found one on there, but it was really, really expensive and I couldn't bring myself to do it. And it wasn't in terms of quality any better than this one. They're both gold plated. It was just a designer brand, so, you know, a designer price as well. Now, as you'll see in this footage, I would wear this necklace with lots of different outfit ideas, but I would say my favorite is Sat Against White because it really makes that gold pop out. I think even with something really simple, like a classic white tee and a pair of jeans, Adding a chunky gold necklace like this can look quite cool and it just brings it up to date a bit more in a very simple fashion. So you've not tried too hard, it still feels really effortless, it's got a bit of a Parisian vibe to it, but it's just a sprinkle of gold to zhuzh up an outfit. Next up in the Suzanne haul and lookbook to a classic white shirt with a twist. Did you know that you could get complimentary embroidery with a lot of the pieces you see on Suzanne's website? The tomboy shirt being one of them. So as you can see, I've got my name embroidered in red just above the top pocket here. This would actually look really nice on the denim jacket as well. I think red against that blue would look lovely and it would make quite a nice detail as well, especially if you're buying something as a gift for somebody else, you could make it personal. Now the shirt itself is actually the tomboy shirt and as I've learned from experience, they do come up quite small. I would say pretty much 99% of Suzanne pieces are very true to size but the tomboy shirt definitely comes up small. You need to size up in that. So I've got that in the 40, whereas I would normally go for the 38. So I started that with my blue wash denim jeans. I've got my beige comfy trainers on my feet and the numero D handbag again to finish. Actually thinking about it, if I did need a jacket, I would probably do a bit of a double denim with that look. Uh, my jeans, uh, the jacket over the top and that nice crisp white showing underneath. I think that looks really nice together. So I'm gonna be styling that into outfit ideas for years to come, hopefully. 
I really hope you've enjoyed this Suzanne haul and lookbook for summer 2021. I thoroughly enjoy shopping on Suzanne's website, so it's an absolute pleasure sharing with you all the pieces that I went for. Don't forget to let me know your favorite outfit idea I've shared with you today in the comments section below. And if you want to find any of the pieces that I've shared with you today, I have linked everything in the description box below. And also a link to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a really lovely week and hopefully you'll join me back here next Sunday for lots more lovely fashion. Take care.